Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at some of the capabilities of the MIG Weld 100. We're going to make a few outside corner welds in the flat position on carbon steel. So this is a good machine if you're a fabricator that works with carbon steel. Not too heavy but lightweight work, works in the outdoors a lot and needs self-shielded flux core arc welding wire to do the type of work that you do. So this machine is capable of 100 amps at a 20% duty cycle and it operates on 120 volts. So let's take a few minutes and look at some outside corner welds. We installed some O3O E71T self-shielded flux cord arc welding wire onto the machine and then we made adjustments to the settings turning the wire feed speed to 10 and the voltage toggle to max. We tacked together two pieces of 3 16 by inch and a half into a corner joint configuration in the flat position. So we started the weld and paid attention to the electrode stick out, the angle of the gun, and watched the puddle to make sure that it maintained its full position and not too full to spill over the sides and run down each side. We also didn't want to travel too fast and leave the puddle not completely filled or worse yet leave undercut at the toes adjacent to the sides of the weld. So we want to maintain a constant travel speed and pay attention that we keep the puddle full. The other thing to consider when you're using the self-shielded flux cord arc welding wire is the volume of smoke coming off the joint. We want to make sure that we position our head and body in such a fashion that we're not in the stream of smoke coming off of the joint. And if that's a problem, we should use some type of ventilation system to make sure to keep it out of our way. So after lifting our hood, we took a look at what we had. So this is what the weld looked like prior to removing the slag off of the surface. Then once we took the slag off, here's what we had underneath. I used the flapper wheel and kind of cleaned up adjacent to the weld and removed any spatter. So then I tried to do some finishing. So I took and used the sanding wheel on our flapper disc and made two areas on it. One where I finished it off at a sharp corner and the other section that I radiused over. So I finished it off in two ways. Here we see the sharp corner and I used the flapper flat on both sides of the plate to get that sharp corner. Next we'll see a radius where I used the flapper wheel to radius over the corner of it to make it a smoother and more rounded finish. So hopefully you got something out of looking at welding up this corner joint with that E71T self-shielded flux core arc welding. So thanks a lot for hanging out and we hope to see you again real soon.